Hey, welcome back to the channel, Shake Hands with Destiny, where our whole thing is to talk about faith and finance. Why? Because I only shake hands with my destiny if you shake hands with your destiny. So let's get it. Let's go. But there's two things I want you to go ahead and do. If, if this content is good to you and you want some more of it, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. The second thing is go ahead and meet my co-host Shanika because we're walking through this faith and finance journey with her. And maybe you just want to go along and walk with her and take a look at what she's doing. Okay. So what are we talking about here today? First thing you want to do is to get this money. This is how you're going to get anywhere from 25 five to eighty thousand dollars with navy federal credit union first thing is what you want to do is join navy federal okay if you have a family member that's in the military meaning mother father brother sister uh child or even a grandparent okay and there is some other ways to also join after you've done that do not i repeat do not apply for a uh, unsecured credit card initially wait at least 91 days after 91 days of applying once your credit is is at least in the 640s or, or above because you want to build inter eternal points, okay? So what you want to do in the initial three months that you're joining, put, get the best checking account that they offer and also get a savings account. So those are the first things you're going to do initially when you first join. Next, you want to make, if you can, get a direct deposit directly into the account if you cannot. Do a direct deposit, at least put $5 in the account those first three months every single month, preferably every week if you can. The next thing is what you want to do to build eternal internal points as well. What you want to possibly do is get savings bonds. It doesn't matter how small they are. It's building internal points. One of the reasons I'm telling you to do this is because it's very uh, Navy Federal is known for giving high credit limits with low credit scores. Reason being, they look for each internal scores to be high. And I'm telling you some of those things to get your scores up. So one of the next things that you can do uh, after those, within those 90 days is also you can get what you call an installment loan. Go ahead and pull that up in my ebook as well. How to, what you need to do with an uh, installment loan, a uh, so pledge loan, I'm sorry, which where's where you get a loan from yourself. That's building all points. So now after 91 days, it's time for you to apply. You can go into their app, and you can do uh, to see how much what cards you're going to apply apply for and what a car you have the highest chances of getting. However, only apply for the cash or the rewards, even if it tells you you can apply for the other the cash or the re rewards. That's the blue or green card. After 91 days, it is a good possibility you could have anywhere from five to twenty five thousand dollar credit limit. OK, so let's just say, for example, you got a ten thousand dollar card in 91 days. What you're going to do is purchase things on that card for the first uh, for those next three months after 91 days again. OK, from that time frame, you're going to apply for the other card, meaning if you got the cash reward card first, now you're going to get the rewards card and vice versa. OK, after 91 days. So now what you have done, you get that second card. It most likely is going to be a higher limit than the first card. Most likely that card could be anywhere from fifteen to twenty five thousand dollars. Now, what you've now done the second ninety one days, you're only six months into this and you have two cards. What you want to do is go now back to card number one and you want to ask for a credit line increase only a few days after you have only after you have gotten the second card, ask for the credit line increase on the very first card. So now that card very well could go from 10,000 to anywhere from 14 all the way to $18,000, anywhere from a four to $8,000 increase. So that's how you're going to get that increase. It's very likely you could have got two $25,000 cards in the first six months and now you're up to $50,000 and then you just repeat the cycle, okay? That's how you get the Navy Federal up to eighty thousand dollars is what you can get. I just told you the player how to get at the bare minimum fifty thousand dollars with just within six months. Hey y'all, only shake hands with my destiny if you shake hands with yours. Let's get it. Let's go.